Endocrine system is the system which coordinates and controls our body. In this video, we are going to start the endocrine system by discussing the hypothalamo pituitary axis. Hey everyone, welcome back to HM Learnings. I am Harshita, the creator of HM Learnings, where students come to clear their concepts and to get the study material. Make sure that you have subscribed my channel. So we will start by talking regarding the location of the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Hypothalamus is located in the brain and it is located in the dinocephanol part of the brain. Dinocephalon has many parts like the epithalamus, metathalamus, thalamus and the subthalamus. In this figure it is showing in the violet color. Now I will show you the location of the parts of the dinocephalon. Okay, so this violet color part is basically the dinocephalon. Okay, and this part is called as the thalamus. Now below the thalamus, there is a sulcus which is called as the hypothalamic sulcus. This sulcus separates the thalamus from the hypothalamus. So hypothalamus is this portion located below the hypothalamic sulcus in the dinocephalon. Okay, so now you know about the location of the hypothalamus. So we talk about the location of the pituitary gland. So this is hypothalamus shown in the diagram. The hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary gland. This part is the pituitary gland. You, you can see in the diagram also this is the pituitary gland. Now this is pituitary stroke. The hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary gland by the means of pituitary stalk. So here this structure, this part is a pituitary stalk and this is the pituitary gland. Now this pituitary gland where it is situated? This pituitary gland I am showing here. This is a pituitary stalk. This is pituitary gland. It is basically situated in a bony cavity. In a bony cavity, there is a cavity inside a bone. And this cavity is called as the cella tersica. And this bony cavity is present in which bone? It is present in the sphenoid bone. Sphenoid bone is a butterfly shaped bone of the skull. So the pituitary gland is situated in the cella tersica of the sphenoid bone. So we know about the location of the hypothalamus. That hypothalamus is located in the dinocephalon below the hypothalamic sulcus. And the pituitary gland is located in the cella tersica of the sphenoid bone of the skull. It is connected to the hypothalamus by the means of a pituitary stalk. Okay, now we talk about the relation of the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus with each other. So before that, we have to clear certain points regarding the pituitary gland. Okay, so the pituitary gland is also known as the hypophysis. The another name of the pituitary gland is the hypophysis. Pituitary gland has loops. It has anterior loop and the posterior loop. Okay, between these two loops, there is another loop which is very less developed in the human and that loop is called as the intermediate loop. Okay, the another name of the anterior loop is the adenohypophysis and the another name of the posterior loop is the neurohypophysis so why it is important 
to talk about all this because both these types of the both these types of the loops they form a different type of the connection with the hypothalamus the anterior loop forms a vascular connection with the hypothalamus and the this uh, posterior loop forms a vascular uh, sorry this this posterior loop forms a neural connection with the hypothalamus how it forms the neural and how it forms the vascular connection to the hypothalamus we will see okay so for that i will form a i will make a diagram to make you understand okay so now first of all we will draw the hypothalamus okay so the lower portion of the hypothalamus is is called as the median eminence so here i form a median eminence which is a lower portion of the hypothalamus now it uh, uh, now i will form the two lobes of the pituitary gland this is the anterior loop of the pituitary gland okay and then i will draw the posterior loop of the pituitary gland with the different color okay so this is the anterior loop and this is the posterior loop okay so the anterior loop forms which type of connection vascular connection and the posterior loop forms which type of connection neural connection okay so first we look how the anterior pituitary forms a vascular connection okay so before that you need to know that hypothalamus is a group of nuclei there are many nuclei in the hypothalamus okay so nuclei means what what is nuclei nuclei is basically what the cell body of neuron okay so the hypothalamus is made up of the nuclei now i will uh, erase these nuclei because it will create a confusion i will make only one here to make you understand okay so this is one nuclei this is the nucleus of the cell body okay and like every neuron it will have a exon and exon has a nerve ending okay now the nuclei will form what it forms the hypothalamic hormone okay because we discuss we are discussing about the endocrine system so what we have to discuss ultimately hormones okay so now we talk about how there is a vascular connection between the anterior lobe of the pituitary and the hypothalamus okay so there is an artery which is coming here in the median eminence this artery is called as the superior hypophyseal artery this artery is a branch of internal carotid artery okay so what does the artery do when a artery come this is an artery it will come it will form what it will form the capillaries okay so it will come it will form a capillary okay it will form a capillary okay and what does happen here the neuron this neuron will release the hypothalamic hormone into the into this okay this color is not visible so i'll show here the hormone again with this color so this hormone will be come into the blood because we know that the hormones travel by the means of the blood now what happens we know that artery came artery came and form a capillary and then it will form a vein okay this this happens in a normal situation but here what will happen artery has came it will form a capillary okay it will form a capillary then this capillary will unite to form a portal vessel this is a portal vessel and this sorry this portal vessel will then form the another set of the capillary and this again reunite to form a vein so here there are two sets of the capillaries which are formed without passing through the heart so this type of system is called as a portal system because there are two sets of capillaries formed without passing through the heart so here the same thing will happen 
the same thing will happen this is this first set of capillary plexus is called as the primary capillary plexus and the second set of this capillary plexus is called as a secondary capillary plexus so similarly here this one this set is called as a primary capillary plexus this is formed in the median eminence and it will take the hypothalamic hormone secreted by the hypothalamic nuclei okay then it will form a portal then it will form a portal vessel okay because this portal vessel is running towards the pituitary gland and the another name of the pituitary gland is hypophysis so this is called as the hypophysial portal vessel okay and then again it will form what it will form a secondary capillary plexus okay secondary capillary plexus and that and this capillary plexus will also carry the hormone okay the hypothalamic hormone is carried by the portal vessel and here it will reach finally the pit anterior pituitary this will be taken up by the cells of the anterior pituitary these are the cells of the anterior pituitary so this hormone will be taken up by this anterior pituitary cells and then this will join to form a vein okay so finally this forms a vein so see how the hypothalamic hormones travel via the help of the portal system to the anterior lobe of the pituitary okay and that's why we are saying that there is a vascular connection between the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary because the hypothalamic hormone the hypothalamus influences the activity of the anterior pituitary by its hormones and that hormones travel by the means of the portal system so this connection between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland okay anterior lobe of the pituitary gland is named as hypothalamic because it is between the hypothalamus and what the pituitary gland called as the hypophysial which system is present here portal system so this connection is called as the hypothalamic hypophysial portal system okay now we look at the neural connection which is present between the posterior loop and the and the post, uh, posterior loop of the pituitary and the hypothalamus okay so simply you have to remember that just like the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus here the hypothalamic hormones travel by the means of the vascular system here the hypothalamic hormones which are going to the posterior lobe of the pituitary they are traveling by the means of a tract okay by the means of what which thing by the means of a tract so there are uh, uh, hypothalamic nuclei similarly here your hypothalamic nuclei this hypothalamic nuclei will form the hypothalamic hormones this hypothalamic ho hormones have to reach to the posterior pituitary but here they reach by the means of the tract what are tract tract is nothing if i write here tract what is tract tract is nothing but what it is a bundle of axon okay so we know that that from each that each neuron has a axon so nuclei will form the hypothalamic uh, uh, hormone this hypothalamic uh, hormone will be then taken up by the tract by the axon of that nuclei and that axons extends from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary it forms a nerve endings in the posterior pituitary and it will release the hormones in the posterior pituitary so here the hypothalamic hormones are released by the means of a tract by the means of the axons these axons are longer and they extend from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary okay so this system is called as what okay so i just erase this part so that you can it will give more clarity to you 
okay so this system is called as the because it, it exits between the hypothalamus okay so what is it called as hypothalamic hypophysial because pituitary gland is involved hypothalamic tract tract is basically the bundle of the exome okay so I hope that you are clear with the hypothalamic pituitary axis. This is called as the axis. Okay, the connection between the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus. Between the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus, there is vascular connection called as the hypothalamic hypophysial portal system. And between the posterior pituitary and the hypothalamus, there is a neural connection called as the hypothalamic hypophysial tract. Okay, so these, these are the questions which are asked you in the viva. Okay, so with this, in the upcoming video, we will talk about the hypothalamic hormones and how this hypothalamic hormones regulate the pituitary hormone secretion. Also, what are the hormones of the anterior pituitary and what are the hormones of the posterior pituitary. So, if you want to get a notification and not to miss this videos, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Please follow HM Learnings on their Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for regular updates to rock your viva and to boost your knowledge. Please like, share and follow us on the official pages of the HM Learnings. Till then, keep learning.